Hi guys and welcome back to episode 6 of the Raid series. In this episode, I think we're going to end up going into factory and trying to get some of the Tarkov Shooter Part 3 tasks done, which is to get Mosin kills or Bolt Action kills under, I think it's 30 meters, uh, and get some PvP action done to start off the week with a bit of fun. Now, before we go any further, I just want to make uh, it aware, one, I had a shave, two, I have uh, reformatted this computer, reinstalled Windows, installed Tarkov, on all the drivers again, and fully tested out everything. And there should be no more major issues when it comes to sound and video performance. I do apologize. Um, I, I use this computer a lot uh, for, I used to, this, used to use this computer a lot, and then it kind of was just sitting there, and then I thought, hey, this is where I'll film the Raid series from. And obviously we've had a lot of issues in the last previous episodes. So apologies for that, but we're gonna be uh, all good from this point onwards. Hopefully I've double checked everything and uh, no more drama. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. All right, so we are geared up currently with the AK MSN and uh, we can go into doing our factory raids with our Mosin, we would need to obviously take it a Mosin. So this is the actual quest I'm talking about, eliminate PVC operatives from less than 25 meters away while using a bolt action. This is 10,000 XP, and we are currently level 12 with 18,000 XP to the next level. Uh, we have dailies, so our dailies are to survive two factory raids, which gives uh, 1,700 XP. We have, uh, what's this one? Eliminate any PMC operatives with a headshot, five of them which with a Mosin, we could get three of them. And then last but not least, we need to hand over some ripstop fabric. Um, so we can go into factory and do those quests. Other option, if we wanna just uh, do something else, we, we can drop off a tool set. I think we might have one at the bottom. We found one, so we could place one down. There is a barter trade actually available um, to do that, but we don't have all the items for the barter trade. Um, so we do need a second tool set, but we could place one of them down during one of the runs, which we will do. Um, so let's get that. And uh, we probably should leave this backpack behind. Uh, going into factory, we are most likely going to die a few times. And uh, I'm just gonna <laughs> be honest, This uh, in previous episodes, this quest alone has caused me a lot of grief, um, but I'm in a good mood. I've had a fresh shave, I'm feeling good. I think with a uh, little bit of uh, luck, we should be able to get through this no problem. Why is this not letting me buy one? It, oh, autofill's not on. Oh, because I just reinstalled the game. Okay, so there's gonna be a few teething issues with that. I just obviously restart installed the game. All right, we're gonna use the FFJ round, so let's get, I don't know, 40 of those. We're probably only taking maybe 20, 20 of them. Um, and we can leave our gun behind. And we could leave that rig behind too, if we can put it somewhere. Put that one down here so it's out of the way. And then for meds, I just want to take in probably two of those and one of these. Then what I want to do is I'm just going to get a small little backpack or a small little rig like that, just to get us out of the woodwork. <clears throat> so it looks like that, five, six, and seven. We've got some backup meds, and then we've got a couple of uh, other items. Now, we also do have a lot of insurance to claim, um, so we need to get on top of this as well. Um, we'll probably use some of this in our factory raids, but let's get into the first factory raid. If we can get a couple of these kills, that'd be great. We don't have to do headshots with them. We just have to make sure we kill them. So uh, let's go see how we go. And with a bit of success, we should uh, hopefully get this quest done in only a couple of raids. All right, factory action. Now, when you're going into factory, there's only a limited amount of spawns, so you need to be ready to go straight away. So, this one has a spawn right here that we need to worry about. And there hasn't been any audio cues, so we keep moving. You can hear the pistols going at it from the other side, so we're going to push those nice and quick because pistols are a lot easier to kill than other ones. I was using the, uh, the head tilt to look through and across to the side. I must be aiming high. That was a headshot. 
<laughs> Alright, we got a kill. There wasn't a headshot. Right, fresh install windows. North FPS. Nah, missed him. I feel like my shots were pretty accurate. Maybe I was just a little bit rushy on, on the shots. We got ran down. We hit three of our eight shots. Three of our eight shots. So I think the guy running up at the end we hit. But yeah, we missed the second one on him. All good, we got one of them. We got one of them. So uh, we're gonna heal up and go again. Now, so they take note of is if you are going in like that, uh, and you you try to get those Mosin kills or pistol kills. If you are going for either of those two quests, if you hear people with pistols, push them quickly, because other guys that are going in with like AKs and like playing all sweaty, they're gonna be going for those people as well, and you want to have them as your easy pickings before uh, before the sweaties get there. So, you want a piece of advice? Go for them as quickly as possible. Uh, play a little bit more aggressive in those situations, and and take advantage of it. So. Uh, we've got this ready to go here. I'm just going to grab another Mosin. Uh, we got one kill, so... I think we might be just best off buying all the ammo. Uh, and then that way it's not going to be an issue. We'll put that like that. That goes there. And then meds again. So we're just going to go very similar meds. We've got three of them. And we'll get a couple of them. I want to get that heart, uh, that toolbox down if, as well if we can, because then that way it's one less thing to worry about. All right, straight back in. We're not going to mess about. All right, back in the factory, go. Like I said, we hear uh, the spawns of pistolings. Same spawn as last time. No movement. Oh, a gear guy. Dead here. I don't think I have another round. Man. Oh, I should barrel stuff him. I don't think I even hit him. Missed all my shots. Wonder why I'm missing so much. I, I think I'm hitting just, I was shooting just a little bit above their head. Not normally this, this off with my aim. All right, uh, let's go one more. What I might do is use this one here so we can just get a little bit more space in the stash. We'll buy two more. Bam, go to the insurances. I like wearing helmets. Uh, I'm splitting a stack by holding control and dragging it, by the way. All right, five, six, six and seven. I might buy one more of these and put that there. All right, this is the one, this is the one. Otherwise we have to do a factory run and then we'll probably try something else. But it's good to try and get a little bit of progression and start off the week with a bit of PVP. You will die a lot doing this quest. Like sometimes you'll get it done in a couple of raids and then sometimes it'll take like three or four or five raids. It's deliberately kind of scuffed in that way. If you want to play it really strategically and tactically, sure, you could probably just creep around, but you got to get under 30 meters or 25 meters, which is actually pretty close with the Mosin. All right. This is the one. I can feel it in my jellies. All right, so this is a very busy spawn. ran off.
in the sand quest. Hey, what are you doing, bud? Oh my god, I wouldn't run! Hit him in the thorax too. All right, we need to do something different. <sighs> W-Y-Y triple six. Righto. Well, I hit him at least. 86 damage in one hit. So, uh, uh, but it's one hit. 86 damage in one hit. It must have crit. It must have do critical hit. <sighs> so, uh, there were two different people that killed me. First guy shot me with the Mosin, that last guy shot me with the uh, AKS, I guess. It is what it is. All right, we are gonna need to do a scab run um, just to top up our, our uh, cash flow. And then we'll have to pick something else to do. But we did get one Mosin kill at least. And the best thing about dying in Tarkov is you're actually leveling up your health skill. So our health skill is actually starting to level up. We're already at level two. And vitality and stress resistance, all leveling up. All right, so let's put that back down in there. Maybe we'll take a Mosin onto a different run. Uh, and let's do a scav run. Just to give us a little bit extra space for our scav run, we're gonna do that. And we're gonna dive back into factory and try and find some USEC dog tags. Um, pretty much we'll run around, find any USEC dog tags, and then uh, grab some loot and get out, just so we can get a bit of a top up in cash. And then we'll go into a different map and uh, we'll explore. Uh, we won't do Streets of Tarkov because I know how many people commented saying they didn't want Streets of Tarkov just to be the only map we play in the race series because they want to be able to try and follow along in their playthrough as well. So uh, I'll show you some of the med spawns for different maps um, and hopefully we'll be able to get some progression there. All right, we're in. We could probably go find our body over here. Nope, not in that one. Maybe over here. If it wasn't the first raid. Nope, it wasn't the second raid. All right. Sometimes you get the same raid as the raid you were in. All right, we're going to look for... What are we after? Salewas. So Please don't kill me. <laughs> yeah, think you're so smart, don't you, buddy? Hey. He's trying to trap me in there. Little did he know you can just push people out of the way. This hasn't even been looted. We're getting free meds here. That's huge. We've got a syringe then too. I think we've already got the med station. What did we need to get the med station finished? Measuring tape? We got the generator. Did we not? I'm confused now. Uh, let's see, we just want to get the stuff that's most important to us right now. Ooh, I'm a session case, not that good. Ooh, that's a nice little shotgun. Is he gonna, t is he gonna, he took the shotgun. No, wait, what's he taking? What's he taking? He took the rig. Where, where did he put the rig? I just put it on the ground.
Alright, what quest do we have? No, we don't have any of that. Okay, cool. Alright, keep looting. Keep looting and skidding, eh? Oh, whoops. Tar is a good little bit of money. Oh, an MBSS. I'm just going to hoover this whole map up. I'll show you maximum looting efficiency. It's interesting that the scabs keep taking all the uh, stuff, but just not actually collecting it, just dropping it on the ground. Um, that's probably everything we need to get from this raid. Would have been nice to get a couple more, like get a couple of USEC dog tanks out of the scav run, but. I've already spent longer in here than I normally would. Just because of the uh let's gonna check this real quick. Nah, it's taken. Alright, cool. Um yeah, so we did pretty much jump in that raid to quickly just get a bit of a top up in cash, but we do find sometimes quest items or keys and that. I generally like factory, I've spoken about it a lot. You won't see me doing a lot of non-factory scav runs during this playthrough, only because um I don't really feel like it will help our progression for the raid series and I want to get as far as I can in this wipe because I know we're going to run into an issue of if the wipe is short enough, like we might not get through a lot of the quests and I would like to show you as many quests on how I would progress through them as possible um, from doing this. So that's pretty much uh, the main reason. We could pretty much just use that as our next loadout for a scav run. Um, there's some meds for us too. I'm gonna be a little bit cheeky and just sell like that for this last bit. All right, so um, Mosin, be nice to get if I can. That would have another contact. Does Ragman have it? All right, so we've got that. Five, six, I don't want to take in that backpack. That should have been sold. Uh, ammo, split that in half. Cool. We'll get that toolkit. Do I have a small rig I can put on? Take this big one, because why not? And then I just want to take a bandage. That'll get us through. All right, it's big dubs time. Big dubs, you can feel it in me jellies. All right, this spawn again, we'll hold here. I'm going to aim a little lower this time, because I feel like I've been aiming over their heads. All right, pistols, good. I'm gonna reload and then push. Just a second. Ah! That was on. Oh man, I don't know. Did he get me with the shotgun in the jaw? Head jaw. Wow. I don't know how I'm missing. One hit for 83. He got me a slug. GG's.
I don't normally miss that much. I, I, obviously I'm missing. I'm not doubting that, but it just feels like I've got my crosshair on him. Maybe Nafa, slow some of these down right now. I want to, I want to cut right here, and I want to show those th four shots. I want to, I want to watch it back eventually in the like the, everyone can watch it and see if I actually missed all those shots. I assume I did, but all right, we need to go do something else. Uh, unfortunately, I can't just keep going into factory dying like that. But you know. Um, Maybe I'm just bad at the game. Maybe I'm just bad. All right, let's get some uh, other stuff on. Uh, clothing, guns. What? Did, wait, I got ammo back. No, oh, what? Shouldn't have got ammo back. I don't know. All right, what quest can we do? Should we go into a customs raid or? We could go into shoreline and try and do signal part one. Hmm. Shoreline signal part one. I, I'm just trying to think of how I could get some meds or something. I think I think the idea would be we'll go customs. It's gonna be a spicy one if we go customs, but I don't think I've got any helmets left. Nope. We are getting down to our last few dollars. Six, five. We'll put the Vaseline back down here, the Splint and the CMS. All right, we're gonna go customs and we're gonna win. We're gonna go try and get either the machinery key or the unknown key. Um, you know what, I'm gonna leave, I'll put that there. No, I'll leave that behind. I'll take the Gigi keychain. Might be able to get some keys out of this. And then I'll, I'll buy a normal splint. So if we break a leg. All right. If we get any dorms, we're going to go get the machinery key. If we get any um, unknown key, we'll go pick up that one. Let's go give this one a, a bell. Insure. No, we can't afford it. No insurance for this one. We need to get some money up. All right, customs. We're kind of on the fastest. So we've spawned on like the behind new gas station. It's up in the hillside bit. We've got one spawn technically between us and dorms and we're gonna head towards dorms. It's gonna be spicy. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, this is not gonna end well. <laughs> I'll try my best. I'm focused, I'm fixated. Everything's looking good. I'm gonna uh, keep moving. I've got my trigger finger ready. I'm gonna try my best just to get in there and grab the key for the machinery. Might even try and talk my way through a little bit. So there's only one spawn that could be in front of us on this side of the map, but there is also the other side. Flash drive spawn between the guitar and the, the wood and between the duffel bag and the wood. I don't know if he's dead. That's that spawn I was talking about. I don't think he had his mag in. There's no mag in the gun. Oh my God. Are you serious? A scab came up?
I can hear a guy running on the spot. I don't know if this makes sense. This game this game makes no sense right now. I think this is Gabe just running back and forth. There's no reason why Scab should have came over to this body. Like it, it's what investigating every noise now. This gun shreds, by the way. So this is Sky with a high ping. I'm guessing it's from some sort of Asian server. Right, is that not the weirdest raid ever? So there's a guy camping. I'm guessing that was a trio. And I killed one of them. One guy was lagging out and the other guy was camping the guy that was lagging out. I don't know. None of this makes sense, guys. I'm so sorry. I spawned in. I ran across towards dawns. A guy was camping in a bush. I killed the guy camping in the bush. There's a guy running on the spot. I killed a scav that walked up to me. I killed the scav, looted a little bit, moved down to the I killed the guy running on the spot. Uh, apparently, there's a guy in another bush to my right. I go to loot the guy, um, and he kills me. Head tap. Not much else I can explain from that. I'm guessing, like I said, I think it was a trio. One guy started lagging out. They were camping in a bush covering the guy lagging out. The guy shot me, forgot that he didn't put his mag in his gun. I kill him. I don't know why a scav walked up to me. That makes no sense. Whilst there's also still a guy running on the spot, like right next to where the scav was, and then also another guy in a bush. <laughs> this game makes no sense whatsoever. All right, we're gonna go a new strategy. Uh, we're going to sell something. What are we going to sell? What are we going to sell? We have to survive a raid. There's no more choices. We just need to survive. We're going to do a raid. I need some ammo. This is like the poorest I think I've ever been on a raid series. I might just sell one of these or something. I don't know. I don't actually know. I'm going to sell Concordia Security because we can get them pretty often. I'm going to repair that. I'm going to repair this. Um, yeah. When they get dubbed. We're gonna go to Shoreline. We're gonna do the Shoreline quest where we just gotta to run to the two spots. Let's go. All right, Shoreline. Now for us to do this quest, we have to go to the radar over there and then on top of the actual um, resort. So we'll probably go and do that. This one over here first because our extracts are on the right-hand side of us. It's been a couple of episodes of death. I've been playing so much streets now that I'm only used to making money on the streets. I need to actually like start focusing on surviving in that. We've got some hidden stashes we can do. I'm not really sure if I should, uh, should play somewhat slower for this point. I don't know. This, this, the biggest issue we're going to run into here is there's like five spawns on our left and we're literally running right to them. It's not, this is not the greatest spawn for this task. We might go up to this house and go look in the house. There should be two weapon crates in there, or at least there used to be before the, uh, the whole dynamic loot change.
No, there's still two in here. Mm, looks like a gun. Ooh. What's in this? It's FMJs as well. I'm probably just leave the AR here. So this is the gun that I used when I was in the army. It's very similar to this completely, actually. Except for this has a fixed sight, whereas we had... Um, well, I've used the one with the fixed sight, but... And the Picatinny rail at the top, but also with the... Uh, Picatinny rail at the bottom and the same sight on it. We call this the donut sight because it's a donut. There we go. Apparently there was a player right to our front somewhere. <laughs> I hate Shoreline so much. Oh my god, this episode is just death. And that's the history of Pestily in the military. Yep, 7.62 to the head. And we can't even afford to heal. <laughs> oh, wow. Go to the buyout meds now. All right, what do we do then? What do we do? I don't. I don't know what's going on. I'm not even joking. The last, the last 48 hours of Tarkov for me on, on all accounts has been uh, a lot of death, a lot of death. I think I'm just going to go shotgun factory, but I need to heal first, and uh, hopefully by the time I finish that shotgun factory, we have a win. All right, these two can sell. We're gonna have to buy some meds. They're at 6K now. I don't know why Nikita's has done that. I feel like that's actually kind of, kind of brutal. Something that's kind of like, the environment noises are like, are loudish, but your personal noises are so loud. I feel like I, unless you're walking, you can't really hear anyone. All right, let's, uh, let's well, the scav is up. So let's go back to factory. I'm gonna try and do a zero to hero kind of run and see how we go. All right, we just wanna get a small win and get out. Any win. <laughs> Just double tap me with an SKS. I don't have any meds, do I? We're doing a scav run. We're going to a different map than factory and we're going to have some fun. All right? That's what we're going to do. I did 204 damage to that guy. We're going to go on, we're going to go on a wonderful adventure as a scav. Where can we go? Make lots of money. All right, scav run. Um, the best map to scav run right now for a lot of money. Reserve? What's our fence rating? This is insane, guys. I'm sorry. This is this is this is baffling how much I'm dying. I know that sounds really like poor craftsman buys these tools, but I'm actually really struggling to hear right now. I don't know if it's something with the installation, um, but my audio sounds really like weird. Like I hear weird environment sound. It's really loud, but not the actual other things. Like I can't hear people walking. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's scav into. I'm thinking reserve. Oh, we could do lighthouse. Let's do lighthouse. A lot of good stuff on lighthouse. All 
All right, we've loaded into a lighthouse raid. 31 minutes left, that's actually pretty early. There's still a very good opportunity that rogues and that will still be up. I'm just checking inside this room because there's, um, there's some good spawns in here. I'm also going to ask Nafa in my editor, can you put a map up for this one at the end of the raid? Because it's quite a large map and uh, it's our first lighthouse raid. And I think people would really benefit from learning where we're headed. So I'm going to head straight towards the water treatment plant and hopefully we'll be able to get some, some loot from, from dead... Of rogues. Now, rogues are a faction within Escape from Tarkov that were USEC that have like gone rogue from the actual like actual situation. I guess I don't know how to word it, and they've started their own little community. I guess so. That's why the USEC don't get attacked as much on this map. So that's why it's always better to go USEC because if you play on Lighthouse, you can actually get closer to them without them being aggro towards you. Like you can. Get fairly close and they won't even attack you. Whereas if you go bear, you even in eye shot of them, they'll shoot you straight away. So it's kind of a major benefit at the moment to just go USEC. Uh, that is meant to change with the next patch or next major wipe where they're going to add a new faction for that's going to be like friendlier to bear. They're not going to be friends with the bear, but they're going to be friendlier. So what we're doing right now is we're going to go up this way. Now, scavs don't aggro them. You can pretty much walk up to one and point blank kill one in the head. So uh, we're going to go up there and try and get some loot from them. And hopefully get a good loadout, maybe some salewas, salewas and stuff like that. Now, players have a lot of quests to kill these rogues and stuff. They've got to kill them on here and up in the buildings and through all this stuff. And they've got heaps of quests over here. So generally, you'll find a few dead ones. So, for example, look this. Hello? Hello? All right, we'll keep moving. He doesn't want to talk to us, we're just going to steal the loot and go. Oh, that's a sledgehammer. That sure is. That's needed for a hideout upgrade. It's a roll? I didn't even know that spawned there. You learn something every day. Uh, there's like rogue spawns on top of these buildings too. So you can go up on top of them and do all that too. Armored train, industrial zone gates is up there. That's pretty easy to get out that one. Hmm. I'm tired. I need to stand still for a minute. There we go. Go up here, head by the wire. There should be a dead one on here. Nope. There'll be a dead one on the back one for sure. What? 
Can there not be a dead one up here? There's, no, there's always rogues up here. Okay, maybe there's not always rogues up here. I don't, I don't think I've ever gone to a line of spray where I haven't had to kill one up here. We'll go to the next one. Check in here real quick. Never know, I might have added new loot spawns or something. Um, let's keep on moving. There's a technical supply crate here. Nice if we can get a backpack. Okay, someone sniped us. So there was a building right in front of us. On the other side of that building, there was an extract. Yeah, I don't know who killed us, but that was a good shot. Mr. Chun Bai on, tw on Twitch. They can't spell Twitch. I don't think that guy's on Twitch. Um, but yeah, so there's, a, there, there's that building that was behind there. On the other side of that is the industrial gates, right on the map, you got to see it. Um, unfortunately we didn't get out with it, but it is what it is. And, uh, yeah. So, an episode of death. It is what it is, but it is Tarkov, so it's expected sometimes that you have a few, few times where you just die a lot. And we even shoot through a lot of our, uh, insurance stuff too, so I definitely need to do something about this audio. I, I feel like I'm not hearing stuff properly. Um, it might be something I've done since the uh, installation of Windows, but that's a that's a me problem. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the episode and learned something. It's good to see me get smacked around a bit too. I always think that's always a good idea to never hide the, the deaths from you. And you guys get to see that even I die a lot at times. It's hard. Like for example, I, that guy in the bush was you know make it all like there was camping there. I he shot at me. I got lucky enough that he didn't have a mag in there. This is on the customs raid I'm talking about, and then. You know, here it still had some some friends there as well. We're on a 33% survival rate, which is actually quite low for for the uh, the raid series. Usually I'm around the 50-ish, um, but like I don't try to look at these stats too much. We obviously were trying to do the Mosin one where we died like three or four times. So, but we will we will turn this around. I promise you that. All right, but that has to be the end for this episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You should drop like and subscribe. Let us know if it's any better now that we've uh, fixed all the the issues with the audio and the and the graphics oh my god it's been been it's been disheartening for me to be honest because I, I take a lot of pride in making sure this content is always as best as possible and yeah when it's like this it, it, when it's subpar it upsets me because I, like i said i take a lot of pride in it but yeah hopefully no more of that from here anyway guys lastly i'll see you next time